So this is a low-budget sci-fi movie by Noah Hutton, and I believe his feature-length debut as well. He has however made a few documentaries before, and you can tell that he's got some experience. Because this is an ambitious movie, but for the most part I think it was actually very well made. Now I couldn't find any info on the precise budget, but I get the feeling it wasn't much. But I also don't think it could have been made on a, like a micro budget either, simply because of the props and things they had to build to make this world they created feel believable. So they had to have had some resources available, but still what they did here was impressive regardless. They definitely squeezed everything out of what little they had available to them. And I love this sort of scrappy and resourceful filmmaking that finds creative ways to deal with uh, economic restraints and doesn't let limited resources limit their vision and the scope of the movie itself. Because as I said, this movie does build a world and surprisingly a believable one too. But what is the movie actually about and why did I find this to be so impressive? Well, the story here follows a man who's taking care of his younger brother who's got some health issues. And the story takes place in a sort of near futuristic setting or alternative reality, I guess. It's very much like our world, except there are some differences and everything here seems to revolve around quantum computing. But the approach this takes to quantum computing is kinda funny almost satirical in nature. It seems to be winking at the audience a little bit and there is a, a smidge of a surrealist lean to this movie as well. And as this is spoiler free I'm not really sure how deep into the details I want to get here, but let's just say there's a whole industry and sort of a gig economy that sprung up around quantum computing. So the movie is not actually about the computers and the wonders they could achieve technologically, but instead it's about the economy that's grown around it and the jobs it's created for regular people. And what makes it so funny to me is the whole idea of the specific job this main character gets. They call it cabling and uh, I'm not gonna explain exactly what that means, but it's the most inefficient thing I've ever seen. And that's where the satirical and surrealist nature of the movie comes in. Because the whole job reminded me of old school phone operators. You know, the people who had to manually connect people's lines so they could talk to each other? Except this is an even worse and way clumsier version of that, and I thought the concept was just hilarious. Especially taking into account that when you think about quantum computing, you probably think of the future and the next step of the information age that will propel technology forward by <laughs> leaps and bounds. And then you end up with something this backward and inefficient and you create these sort of super menial jobs. I don't know, I thought the whole concept was just funny and I'm pretty sure it was completely intentional. Now with that being said, I also think this was just a really, really unique and creative movie too. Like I haven't seen a movie quite like this in a while, probably ever. It felt like a completely new experience, just like a fresh idea that hasn't been explored before. And on top of that it was just well made all around too and for the most part I found it to be very intriguing. Now I'm not gonna call it the most exciting or riveting movie I've ever seen, but it plodded along at a decent pace, I didn't really find myself being bored at any point. I also have to say that the main performance by Dean Imperial was really good as well. And to my surprise this is only his second acting credit, the first one being a short film 11 years ago. But I would have never guessed because he really was the glue that held this movie together. In fact I would say that most of the performances in this were better than you'd expect from a tiny movie like this. There were a couple of actors who stood out as being not quite on the level of the rest of them. But yeah, in general, I've got no complaints. I've seen worse performances in major studio movies. Now with all the compliments out of the way, I do have one issue with this movie. And that's with the way it wrapped it up, or rather didn't, because it just sort of ended. It didn't really fully resolve a lot of plot lines, or perhaps even any of them I feel like. It kinda did some of them to some extent, but not really fully, it just kinda left us hanging a bit. And yeah, it definitely wasn't the most satisfying conclusion to a movie I've ever seen. And I was a bit surprised when it ended. So this is an issue and that does bring my score down a little bit to be honest. But considering the budget, the ambition and the overall execution of these unique ideas, I'm still inclined to give this one a high 7.
but should you watch it? If you like low budget sci-fi or just creative unique movies, definitely. So you know, maybe give this one a peek or don't, after all, I'm not your dad. But hey, what are your thoughts on this? Have you seen it? Did you like it? Let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe give it a thumbs up or sub to the channel because that would be fantastic.